Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we explain how to create a bootable Linux Ubuntu USB stick in Windows. With a bootable USB stick, you can install or upgrade Ubuntu Linux, test out the Ubuntu desktop experience without actually touching your PC configuration, boot into Ubuntu on a borrowed machine or from an internet cafe, or use tools installed by default on the USB stick to repair or fix a broken configuration. Consequently, if you want, for example, to install completely from scratch Linux Ubuntu, or if you want to test Linux Ubuntu or fix it, it's a good idea to have a bootable USB stick. Here are the requirements. You will need 4 GB or larger USB stick or flash drive. However, I suggest you that you have at least 16 GB USB stick. You need Microsoft Windows. They're saying here XP, but I suggest that you have Windows 10 or later. Then you need to have Rufus. Rufus is a free and open source USB stick writing tool. And then you will need to download the Ubuntu ISO file. Okay, so let's go over these steps. The first step is to install Rufus. To install Rufus, you can either open Google, search for Rufus, or you can go to this website. Then over here, you can find the download link and you can download the appropriate version. After you download and install Rufus, you can start Rufus. So click over here, search for Rufus. Here it is. And here's how Rufus looks like. Okay. If you can open Rufus, this means that you have properly installed Rufus. I will close it for the time being. The next step is to get the correct Ubuntu version. Consequently, you either can Google download Ubuntu or you can directly go to this web page. Then if you scroll down, you can download the newest version of Ubuntu. Click over here on download Ubuntu desktop and here is the newest suggested version. It's Ubuntu 24.04 LTS. If you're watching this video, for example, a year from 2024, for example, in 2025, there will be, for example, some other Linux version. So download the, the latest Linux version. Usually I download the LTS version. LTS stands for long-term supports, which means five years of free security and maintenance updates and extend it to 10 years with Ubuntu Pro. So click over here to download Ubuntu. And after clicking, the process will start. It will take some time. Okay, let's proceed with creation of a bootable USB stick. Click on Start, search for Rufus, and run Rufus. Over here, you need to select the proper USB stick. Under the assumption that you plugged in the USB stick, you should see it over here. Then, keep all these settings as default. Don't change anything for the time being. Then, click on Select to locate your Ubuntu desktop ISO file. In my case, it's in the Download folder. So, I will select it, click on Open, and you can simply press start. Don't change any of these options. Now, here you have several options. Select this option, write in ISO image mode. This is recommended, click OK and click OK. Click OK and then you have to be patient. This will take some time. After approximately five minutes, you will get this green square over here, means that you have properly installed and created a bootable Ubuntu Linux USB drive. Okay, that's all for today.